Over there. Hi, Jason Gober from ThatShelf.com in Canada. Congratulations on the film. One of the things it does most remarkably is deals with um, taking different versions and doing interpretations of it. You do different interpretations of the songs and you're doing different interpretations of the, the beats of Elton's life. Just wondering if you could talk about in terms of musical arrangement of twisting the songs and making them your own and then doing the same from the script and the directing and the acting stage of taking these real life moments. They may not be biographically true, but they're musically and they're uh, emotionally true. You could talk about the challenge of making the songs your own and the points of his life your own. I th that was a really lovely way you put that, so thank you. I mean, you know, if you, if you take some of, the, you know, if you take snapshots of Elton's career and snapshots of our movie, you will see that for the costumes, for example, are evocative and inspired by what Elton really wore, but they are, they're different iterations. It's, it's not that we didn't do our homework, it's that we're trying to, you know, um, be sort of authentically creative with it and, and in, in the hope of achieving some sort of integrity and, and, um, and so we, the, the same goes for the music, the same goes for from, from, from my performance, my relationship with Richard's character. It's inspired by, and uh, I hope emotionally true to the spirit of what happened, but they are, they are reimaginings. The process in the studio is that Dexter, myself, and Giles would sit at Abbey Road and cry with laughter, having the time of our lives, taking the piss out of, can I swear? It's too late. Too late. Taking, the, ta taking the piss out of each other and having the best time. And we did work on the songs to try and make them our own. Some we deal with more authentically and faithfully, and some we really mess with and reimagine, always with Elton's blessing. Um, and that, that's been that's that's been Dexter's vision for it. It, cut, it drips down from Elton and what he wanted for the film. But you know, Dexter wanted everything to 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 be sorry, be through sort of rose tinted glasses and kind of look look like what really happened, but be our own reimagining. I think yeah. there was a question. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. I, I mean, he, yeah, he, it couldn't be a better answer, really. I mean, you know, when you are faced with creating a musical and you have this incredible catalogue of songs and and uh, and lyrics to to explore and expand on and you're given free reign to reinterpret them as you want and you have an actor with an incredible instrument and you know these people who are, are, are ready to to take on that challenge um, it's you're a bit sort of spoiled for choice but they they are they all are used beautifully emotionally they if they fit right for the emotional and psychological moment of the film then we we dive in and um, uh, yeah we're we're very proud of that and like and as Taryn says you know Elton said with his blessing and so it doesn't, the music doesn't get in the way of the film. It is part of the whole, you know?